This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Gamefly. Hey everybody, welcome to App Judgment. I'm Stephanie. I'm Graham. And today we're talking about an iPad app that has received a lot of chatter on the internet. It's got a lot of hype, but it's new to me. So Graham, uh, we're talking about Flipboard. Flipboard. Tell us a little bit about this app. This app uh, came out of nowhere for a lot of people. I mean, there are a lot of great RSS reading apps out there. But this was one that just sort of blew up overnight. Um, Robert Scoble tweeted about uh, 10 times a minute about this app, and then just people took it and ran with it. Um, it's not your typical RSS reader app. And matter of fact, it's, it's more of a social media uh, aggregator. Right, right. You, you actually had reviewed with us on App Judgment, like Reader and Pulse, and um, I saw that Flipboard is sometimes referred to as a magazine style app, and right. Eileen showed us a slew of magazine apps. And so, mm -hmm. how is this one different? This one, it's it's takes your social feeds, like your Twitter feed, right. your Facebook feed, and then all the RSS feeds that you want to include, and it takes them and it turns it into your own custom magazine. I think their their tagline is your social media magazine or your your social magazine, um, and it is pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie, I was yeah. very impressed with this. It'll get all of your content all on one page like this and you've got your Twitter, your Facebook. Are there any nitpicks you have about it? I do. When this app was announced, a lot of people jumped on it very quickly. Yeah. So, it created sort of a, a massive uh, influx of people joining and it actually crashed their servers. Oh, no way. There were lots of people that were trying to get to the Twitter aspect of the app and it would say, I'm sorry, we have uh, no more room for more Twitter signups today right. because of how many people were just uh, logging in using this app. And w did you have any problems setting up your Twitter? I did. Actually, it was this morning, and I've had this app for about a week now. Right. It was this morning that was the first time I was actually able to log into my Twitter mm -hmm. and check out how Flipboard handles your tweets. Now, what's impressive about Flipboard um, is that it's it's not so much you going out and subscribing to magazines and, right. and RSS feeds, it lets your friends choose your news for you. All of my friends on Twitter who are linking to things and all of my friends on Facebook who are linking to things, uh, automatically this app goes out and finds those links and mm -hmm. creates links to those stories and very in a very pretty interface that right. lets you just kind of tap and zoom in to what they're talking about. Um, it'll give you a list of the people who are contributing to this page at the very top and as you flip through it'll uh, it'll show you who has shared what and where it's coming from. It really is a different way to think about um, getting new content because mm -hmm. it's not it's 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 more of a you kind of leaning back and letting your friends do all the work right. for you. Yeah, the, the app is kind of assuming that everything that's on there is going to be something of interest to you because, because you subscribe yeah. to these people and they're personal recommendations. Right. So it's, I think that's a great idea. It's fantastic. And though there are a couple of things, I feel like with Reader, um, the, the app we reviewed uh, recently mm -hmm. is more of a robust app that lets you get through a lot of news much, right. much faster. This is a very pretty app that I don't mind uh, using all the time. Yeah. And I think Robert Scoble in his initial tweets about this was like, this is a this is one of those apps and they come around every once in a while that makes your iPad worth having. It right. just completely adds value to, to what you you know what you've already got. And I, I totally agree. I think this is one of those apps while there's a couple of things for them to work out, such mm -hmm. as the server issues and a couple of things like not being able to read the whole article sometimes. Yeah. Um, but they are they're definitely improving this and it's to me it's such a creative way of, of going out and finding news and pictures and movies mm -hmm. um, uh, that it's one of those things that you wish you had thought of at first. You <laughs> yeah, know. totally. I mean, and so with, with the little, um, I wouldn't call them bugs, but there, there's a little bit more to be desired in features, especially being able to read the whole article. I think mm -hmm. that's kind of a, a deal breaker for me because if I can't read the whole article, I might just go back to the, na the native app. Right. Like, might as well just go to a news site to read the whole app. Uh, the whole article. Right. So. While they do make it very easy for you to go to the website, right. it's a very quick process, I do kind of wish that I could read the whole story within the app most of the time, when but sometimes you, you can. When you go to the website, does it stay in, in the yes, uh, it does. app? Okay, mm -hmm. so you don't have to exit the app. So Flipboard is a very nice app. It's very polished. I think that everyone with an iPad is at least going to want to try it out, and they can because it's totally free. All right. And there you have it. If you are a Flipboard user, please let us know what you think. Send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. Or you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or at home on revision3.com. 
And if you have any questions about the app directly for Graham, you can probably find him on Twitter. At Graham Hancock. And you can always say hi to me at Merrily. Well, Graham, thank you so much for no showing problem. us Flipboard. No um, we'll <laughs> see you guys soon. Hey, gamers. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. App Judgment fans get a 15-day free trial when they go to www.gamefly.com slash appjudgment.